Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ Forey, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. It is the middle of the winter. I am cold AF. I've got what's his face, uh, Kelvin, out there cutting down some trees, collecting logs for me, which is awesome. And I need some sleep. Okay, I'm not gonna want to sleep outside though. Let's go ahead and make a bed. I think it's time we make a bed. So where would that be? Let's just go through all this stuff. Look at that freaking a lean to, a log lean to. Wow. Uh, look at this treehouse. That treehouse looks awesome. Uh, here's the thing though. I don't want to make tree houses. And the reason I don't want to, I don't want to make tree houses is because I've heard that Kelvin will cut down the trees and he doesn't care if there's a tree house in it or not. So, but that tree house does look cool. hundred logs though. My goodness. All right, let's go ahead and put the bed in here. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, you don't really need it because if food goes bad, you could just recook it. So, not really that big of a deal. Uh, let's rotate. And that looks pretty good to me. All right? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, perfect. Perfect! Oh, you actually need duct tape for it. That's fine. I've got some duct tape. It's mighty cold out here. Mighty cold. What are you doing, bro? Why are all these log sleds empty? Or log holders empty? Yeah, he's like, well, where's my log sled, bro? I don't know. Talk to the devs. It's not in the game. What do you want from me? <laughs> All right, I just need one more stick for this. There we go. And let's put that axe away. In case Virginia comes out, I don't want to freak her out. All right, cool. And save the game in a new bed. I'll leave the thing up on the outside anyway, because I don't see any reason not to. Cool. Let's, uh, all right, you guys have waited long enough. You guys have waited, I've, I've really teased you with this. The cool thing is I'm recording both of these episodes for Sunday, so they're both going up on the same day. So you didn't have to wait like more than a day uh, to see it. Now, the gun, the gun, oh, by the way, there's a, uh, oh, there's some more arrows. So there's arrows in there, there's arrows here, there's ar ar arrows everywhere. So here's my rope gun. All right, I'm gonna show you why this thing, why the rope is so dope, if you get what I'm saying. We're gonna go where there's a lot of trees, okay? And then I'm going to shoot my base. Uh, should we shoot the base or the... Uh, actually, let's shoot right there. And then we're gonna shoot a tree. All right, and now I believe we can slide logs down that. I can slide down that. And I think we could do it with logs too. So let's go ahead and chop it to chop, chop. Chop, chop faster. Yeah, I know I'm tired. I gotta sleep. I'm not sleeping until nighttime. I don't care. I gotta get my sleep schedule back on point. Alright, so we pick up a couple of these and check it out. Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to put the wait, where'd the other log go? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where the other log went. Did I have two logs? Maybe I didn't have you know I didn't have two logs, that's what it was. So there and there. Also and they'll probably change this, but you can actually go up. You can go up against gravity with these things as well. Like I said, they'll probably change that, but I'm not sure. So here's the cool thing I forgot about. When you set Kelvin up to chop down trees for logs, he won't only chop down trees. If there's logs there, he'll take them and put them in the log holders. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. And this is why I wanted this gun. That's why I ran past 50 mutants and killed like six guys to get it. That's why I wanted it. So let's come on down. Oh no. <laughs> you stupid, stupid man. All right, well we can go up it too, so. See? Cool. Oh, that's beautiful. Am I far enough away? Yeah, this thing, I could, this thing could fall forward. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna hit anything. At least I don't think so. Probably not. I guess it falls in the direction of your last hit. Go. And... Oh, this is... This is teamwork, people. Teamwork makes the dream work. Look at this guy. Oh, this is so cool. See, this is what I was talking about last episode. I think the developers... And they've said as much. They've said that, you know, single player, you're gonna have a rough time. So they gave us Kelvin to help. Because I think you're... I think this game was made for multiplayer. Which is fine. I'll figure things out. I'll get it done. It just might be a little bit... Well, it's definitely going to be a lot tougher for me. I've played this multiplayer. I've played it um, single player. I'm telling you right now, it is way harder multiplayer. 
I mean, uh, way harder single player. Multiplayer was like, you know, we go down there, there's a bunch of mutants, and we just stab, 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 swing, 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 and they're dead. Um, in single player, you gotta have a, you gotta have a strategy. You gotta be ready. Dude, check this out. I cut down a tree, and I think it fell into another tree, and now all the logs are rolling down the hill. <laughs> Fantastic. So, if you want to get rid of the line, you can. All right, I think you have to do it at one of the, like, points that it's, like, plugged into. So right there, you, pr you hold down E and you get the zipline rope back. All right, now the reason I want the zipline rope back is I'm going to try and put it down again, but I'm going to try and put it down on a log. And I'm pretty sure I can, but let's see. Like, because then if I could put it down on a log, I could, I could move it around. So, like, theoretically, I could put it right here. And then I could cut down all the trees in this area. And then you could set up the zipline, like, any way you want. So, let's just grab this thing. Uh, it's starting to get really uh, bad out here. You gotta reload. And you're looking for the white dot. Like right there. And right there. And there you go. Oh, this is this is so cool. Guys, I you know, I can't tell the future. I don't know what the developers are gonna do with this game. I don't see any way. I don't see any way possible. This game is not going to overtake the forest as my second favorite survival game of all time. I don't think it's possible. I think this game is going to is going to really overtake the forest at some point. Is it there right now? There's still a lot of stuff missing, I think. Uh, but man, it's like the fact that I'm thinking about it this early in development kind of says a lot. So let's see what we got down here. First of all, can I? I'm not going to slide down that. That's going to actually. It might be high enough. Hold on. Let's give it a shot. I could take it. I'm a big. Oh, wrong way. Watch out for the spikes! Alright! No spikes gonna get me, bro! Alright, cool. Let's start working on- Oh, it's all done? Oh. Oh, wow, they're not even filled yet. Wow, we got a lot of stuff to- We got a lot of room in those, so that's good. That is really good. And we're gonna keep putting these down. To build this wall out properly. And like I said, I don't think you could put gates in these walls, so I'm just gonna kind of put the walls up and just leave holes in them where I want to get through and, you know, at least it'll filter the enemy to where I would prefer them to be. Okay, so we are getting cold. So that's not fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I used to love the snow as a kid, man. Like, every time it snowed, we'd go, we'd go back, we had these pits, like, kind of behind my house. And it was awesome. They were like, we would just snowboard down them. Like, and not snowboard, like, we, we, we couldn't afford snowboards because we were poor. So we'd take the trucks off our skateboards and just go down on skateboards. I gotta tell you, like, snowboards are, are attached to your feet, for so for those of you who don't know. But having, uh, like, a snowboard type thing that's not actually attached to your feet is pretty cool, because you could, like, jump and spin it around underneath you as you're going down and everything, and it, it leaves it leaves your, you open to a lot more tricks, which is awesome. All right, and I think we're gonna turn this now. So I'm gonna put this just like that. I don't know, I think that still connects it, even if there's no line. I, th I kind of think it does. All right, this is great. This is great. I don't, does anybody know what cold does to you besides your stamina? Because I'm just seeing stamina issues, and it's like, whatever. Although, I kind of would like to warm my guy up a little bit. Let's get in here. Warm up. What time is it? Again, I will go to bed. I just I don't want to go to bed super early. It's not like... I wish they would let you just take a nap, you know? Like, maybe take a, a two-hour nap or something. But it's like... You either sleep for, like, the whole time and it's nighttime, or you sleep the whole time and it's daytime. There's no, like, there's no, like, in-between. Alright, so some of these spikes are going to be in the way, possibly. Grab that one. Yeah, that's pretty good for now. I'm trying not to go too, too ham with this base. I've got a reputation of making overly large bases and it gets really grindy. Uh, one, if I'm going to say one thing about this game, that's a, it's, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's, it, Kind of challenging is it is a little grindy, but if you if you use your guy right, you know, or if you're playing multiplayer, like the grind isn't even an issue. And if you use your guy right, then it's not so bad. Then I would say get the modern axe and get that zipline gun. Like I'm telling you, man, it's it's the zipline gun is gonna change everything. What is it called? It's not a zipline gun. Let's um, rope gun. I'm not tired no more. Freaking went, slept through the whole night. It's awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, stoke the fire a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and have some breakfast. Let's see what we got for breakfast. All right, we got some cooked meat. I think I cooked this like two times. That's awesome. 
And we're gonna go ahead and drink. Oh, I keep forgetting to open that pouch. Oh, that's right. I didn't want to because I didn't know if I had room for what whatever's in it. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I forgot about that. Um, rope zip zip line rope. That's what you make. If you want to make a zip line rope, you gotta go to the 3D printer and print yourself out some uh of those arrow thingies. I forget what they're called. I thought I printed them out, but I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, if you combine that with rope, you can get oh here they are. Yeah, you make the printed grappling hooks. And you combine them with rope, and then you get the rope, and you can do zip lines all over the place. Which could be pretty fun. I'm going to look up here. I got a lot of grenades, which is awesome. I got the pistol, a lot of shot. Well, not a lot of shots, but some shots. And everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and drink again. Oh, we got to head down to the river. Okay, I'll head down to the river. I'm going to eat something else. By the way, you can't open these cans without a can opener, which I don't have. So, that's fine. Not really a huge deal. All right. Can he get fish? That's, you know what? I'm not going to have him get fish. The heck with that. He can get, like, everyone says, oh, if you want to eat, especially early game, have your guy get fish. And I'm like, all right, you know, maybe. But, like, I want him to get logs. I really want, I really want a lot of logs. Uh, if I, if I really get to the point, the thing is, I want to know if he can get fish. Because you have to be close enough to fish in order for him to get fish. And I don't know if this is close enough. There's fish right over there. But I don't know if it's close enough to him. I I should probably have him do it just to see if he'll do it. And I could I could chop logs myself too. Uh, there's a strength meter. That's what that little arm thing is. As you you know do physical exertion, you'll get stronger and stronger. So I'll go ahead and grab some water, and then we're gonna fill this bad boy up. There we go. I I think I can make shelves to put some of my stuff on so I can open that package, but. It's full, right? Eh, yes. All right, cool. Let's get back up there. I'm going to try and have him fish just just to see if he can. And because uh, we're, we're going to need to eat a lot more. I should probably do a drying rack. I'm just so nervous about the drying rack because I saw the developers in one of their interviews talking about like, you know, if you have food, they're going to come for it. And I re don't you remember the, the original forest? Like if you had like drying racks, they would go right for the drying racks and start attacking them. I don't know why they want my food, though. My food's not human. I thought they're cannibals. Are they cannibals or are they not cannibals? I don't know. Oh, I can make a sled, too, with a 3D printer. I probably won't do that today because I'm trying to get some defenses set up, but that would be pretty cool. I mean, I guess. It's not really practical, but it would be fun. So he is still getting logs. That's a half log, I think. Yep. Stupid half log. I love the way he throws stuff down in disgust. It's so funny. Oh boy. All right. Let's eat the noodles. Oh, dry? Dude, you got water. Heathen? Oh my goodness. All right. Um, I guess I might as well use all these logs. I mean, there's no point in getting logs I don't need. Where am I going to put the opening? I'm going to leave the opening like right, I guess, here. Or is somewhere in that general area. There we go. There we go. Should probably start putting some spikes out here too. They tend to come from that direction though. So I'm not gonna put spikes up just yet. Ugh, I'm gonna have to have them get me sticks too. Man, I you know what? Can we have two Kelvins? Can we have two Kelvins, please? That would be awesome. Kelvin one and Kelvin two. Because I need one to get sticks. No, three. I need one to get sticks. I need one to get... Um, yeah, that's fine. I need one to get fish, and I need one to get logs. I need more Kelvins. So I think I'm going to make the door right here. Seems like a pretty good spot for a door. I don't know what I'm going to do to make it special or whatever, but, you know, kind of figure it out. I am running low on logs. He just, you know, he can't keep up. He's only bringing back two at a time. He won't use the... He won't use the zip line thingy, so... Did that line up properly? There we go. I don't think it did. Alright, pick this up. Some of these spikes are around the outside, which is great. It's gonna be a little tough to make these spikes, like, right off the wall. I guess I could just stand right here. Yeah, actually, that'll work. Stand right there, put that up, grab this, and... Oh. Alright, okay, so yeah, you can't put it... You gotta give it a little bit of space for you to put the stick down. Because if you put your back right to the wall, you're not going to have enough room. Because of the way the sticks work. 
Oh, you kind of walk forward when you put the stick down. That's why. I was like, my back was to that was to that wall, and then all of a sudden it wasn't. I guess that'll be okay. I guess that'll be fine. Oh boy. Uh, one thing that stinks is unless there's a way the way I don't know about, I can't move this trap. I, I guess I'd have to destroy it. I don't know if I would get all the stuff back or not. But yeah, I can't really move that trap, so. It blows just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, I think it's time to start doing some chopping. One question I've been asking myself is, what is the most improved feature going from the forest to Sons of the Forest? And I'm going to tell you right now, it's the zipline. Remember what we used to have to go through in the forest to make the ziplines work? Work The zipline, like the log catchers and stuff, like the kind of things we have to build? This is so much improved, it's not even funny. Look at this. You just break down there. They're not going to fly all over the place. They're not going to explode. Just beautiful function. Form and function. Beautiful form and function. We're going to switch this up a little bit. I want to be able to get on the roof of my house. Getting on the roof of my house is going to be a problem because I didn't build my house properly. Uh, but I'm going to have to fix it. And now is now's as good a time as any. I don't know how bad it's going to be. I think you can pretty much take your house apart. Every piece. And... You will get everything back, I think. I think that's the case. Just kind of have to see. All right, buddy, you do your you do your thing. I'm going. I'm going to leave that there. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm going to have to pick it up because I might be able. I might have to take down the walls. So what I need to do here is I need to get a staircase up to the second floor, and I think we are going to exp be expanding in this direction. The space is going to get bigger. We're going to be expanding in this direction. So. I guess I'll just do it now. Alright, so what we're going to do is, and I'm just kind of playing it by ear here. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. We'll just kind of have to see how things go. There we go. And then we're going to need a floor. Uh, the floor goes this way. Alright. And there. And I think we have a half piece over here. And there. Okay. So now that we've got that done, we're going to... I can't put... I need a log that's going to go vertically here. And I can't put a log there because the walls are in the way. This is where it's going to get tricky. I'm going to have to take down these walls. Now, I don't know what's going to happen to this ceiling. Oh, you can't... So here's a cool thing about this game. You want to know something else that's cool? If you remove something and it's going to make something else collapse, it won't let you remove it. How freaking cool is that? I mean, that's just awesome. I really appreciate that. So, see? Now I can move the wall. Couldn't move the wall before because the ceiling was the problem. So, we're going to take this wall apart. I'm holding down C to take the wall apart in case you guys are wondering. Oops. Sorry. Great. He's, I just gave him more work to do. This guy's going to hate me. You know what else I want to do? I haven't saved in a while. Save often. Early access, guys. Save often. I don't have to explain that, do I? Alright, so now we put that there. Oh, no, we don't do that. We put that there. Oh, am I going to have to take out the other wall, too? I don't think you have to take out the other wall. I think you could... Mm, if you get the right angle, I don't think you need to take out the other wall, but I don't think I'm going to get the right angle, so this wall's got to come out, too. And there we go. Now we put that there. Boom. Now we put this like this. Excuse me. Now we put this one like this. And now we can put some stairs in. Now, that right there is not stairs. That's a roof. If you right-click, now it's stairs. Okay. The building in this game is really, really good, honestly. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It's just, it's really, really good. Uh, you know what else I want to do? Let's build this out a little bit more. Just put another platform behind it. All right, and it's all got to go the right direction. Yep, it's all looking good there. Now, he's going to have a little bit of a problem getting around at this point. I might have to move these racks or something. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, he's going to have a bit of an issue now, which is, you know, it's fine. Not really a huge deal. Kind of mess around with them later. And for the time being, I will put a half piece. 
Uh, what is that? That's going to be a wall, right? All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that down. Uh, you got to be careful you put the logs down because if they keep rolling, you can't cut them. So cut that. And put that right there for a little step. Cool. I'll just kind of throw this out of the way. And there we go. Now we can get up there. I thought the fire was one of those um, muddy guys. It's going to freaking kick some ass. More stairs. Forgot I had two logs on me. More stairs. Um, I guess I got to put this across here. Yep. And then we have to put down the walls and rebuild the roof. Now, again, I'm going to eventually I'm going to expand this. This is going to be a, this is going to be part of the base for now. It's simply a way to get on the roof and nothing more. I keep forgetting I have two logs on me. Grab these. And there we go. Let's rebuild these walls. And there we go. So this thing's been expanded. We now have a way to get on the roof, which is awesome. And what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to put down a log. And this will be for the zip line because it needs to be a little bit higher. Although, will it go off the back? I don't know. Let's find out, I guess. Uh, you know what I could do? Yeah, let's build an actual wall up here uh, for the zip line to connect. Because it's got whatever the wherever the zip line comes from, it's got to be high enough to go over the wall I'm going to be building out there. So, yeah, that should work. This came so good. Man, this and and no one survived in the same year. It's a it's a freaking ridiculous year. Could you imagine if Alpha 21 comes out this year? That would be wouldn't that be awesome? That would be nice. Make it happen, fun pimps. Alright, so that looks good. Let's go out there and chop down some more trees. And see what's what. I keep walking over my own traps. All my armor's gone now. All right, so here's the log I was dealing with. Yeah, that seems pretty good. We can leave it there. Let's grab the gun. And reload. If you don't see the little white dots, because you're not reloaded. And... See, I'd like to get a little bit higher. Yeah, it should be okay. It should work. It's not like it, it's not like it needs to be sloped down for gravity to work in this game, so... It's all good. Let's go ahead and collect some more logs. Worked like a charm. He's even coming and getting them and putting them in the log sleds. He only takes one at a time, though. That's probably why it's taking so long. Um, I kind of want to finish this wall today. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to stop doing anything else we were playing. Honestly, the wall was the main thing today. So I wanted to build my base, like really build my base out. But the thing is, like, uh, when I built my base, these jackasses came in and started destroying it. It's like, why build a base if you don't have defenses? If they're just going to come in and, you know, break it. So uh, that was my thinking for that. Uh, I don't know if that went in properly. There we go. He's getting them from inside the base, too, which is kind of funny. really love the building in this game. I, when I first started, I was like, oh, my God. This is going to be so complicated, so confusing. I'm not going to know how to do anything. Things aren't going to work right, and then I'm going to wonder if I'm doing something wrong or if it's a bug. And just worry, worry, worry. And I worried for nothing because it's, I mean, it seems to be pretty solid so far. I can't find anything that isn't even working. So I can't, I can't say there's any bugs because I can't find anything that's not working. It's kind of, kind of crazy, honestly. Uh, I mentioned this a couple of videos ago. I mentioned it again. When they talked about this game, they were like, well, I guess it's got to come out in early access. And they, they didn't really want to do it. They wanted to, you know, um, have the game launch fully. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Like. To early access, but now I know why, man. This game is really far along. There, I still think there's some key things missing. But, man, it's a lot farther along and a lot more solid than I thought it was going to be. Although, uh, my wife is streaming right now, and she, <laughs> she, everyone in her stream doesn't have a head. So they're just running around like a bunch of headless horsemen. And um, it's pretty funny, but, yeah, so that's a bit of a bug. Uh, we had no problems in our multiplayer stream, though. I wonder if I'm going to be streaming again later today. I wonder if I'm going to have any issues like that. Virginia, what are you doing out here? It's so cold. E. Oh, can I give her something? Oh, can I give her a tracker? How do you give her the tracker? Somebody said you can give her a, a tracker beacon thing, but I'm not seeing how. I know I have them because... 
Oh, I can give her. Oh, there we go. GPS locator. And I'm going to leave the pistol off her. So now I should be able to tell where she is on the map, which is great. Um, I heard she'll like lead you to treasure, but we're not going to do that right now. Sorry, Virginia. I can't do that right now. I got to build. I'm really trying to finish this up today. So we'll go, we'll go look for treasures next video. How about that? I got to get more logs. Can you chop down trees, Virginia? Because that would be useful. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> he's just, he's not, he's not with it today. That's all right. Well, the wall is pretty much done. I'd like to make some kind of cool entrance right now. That's about the coolest looking entrance I could make. I want it to look a little different, uh, but it does come all the way around over here. Um, I did leave the, the backsides open um, because, well, because I didn't finish it. Eventually I will finish this and have this go all the way to the edge. The same, same over there. But I think this is a really good start. I honestly don't know if the AI is going to be smart enough to run around. I'm hoping they'll just like kind of come right for the entrance and then I can kind of funnel them into one spot. We'll have to see how it goes, honestly, because I have no clue. All I know is I got to eat. What am I going to eat? Oh, you know what? Before we do anything, let's see if he can fish. You. Uh, get. Stick. No. Nope. Fish is not an option, which means he's too far away. What can he build? Clear shelter, shelter, fire. Yeah, not much. Take a break. Why don't you take a break, buddy? Take a break. I can go fish myself. I wonder if I bring him down to the water, will he fish for me then? Like if I bring him over there. I'll have to play around with that sometime. Um, I don't even know if I can fish because I don't know what is going to be frozen and what's not. All right, cool. I think we are going to call this one here, guys. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.